What is going on guys? Grave here today. I'd like to talk about companions a little bit more. Now that we have a little bit more info about them, it's getting closer to the Blackwood release. And a lot of people in the community have kind of been having the discussion, you know, surrounding companions and wondering, will this replace players in some activities? Before I get into all the details, be sure if you're not subscribed to the channel to hit the subscribe button. If you are a subscriber, make sure you have notifications turned on. If you enjoy the video, I'd appreciate a like. And check out everything down in the description, the community discord, my Twitter, and of course the affiliate here on the channel, Empire Jerky. The website along with a discount code is linked in the description as well when it comes to how companions are going to work we've learned like i said a little bit more about you know kind of their personalities gear that we'll be able to get that kind of thing but we also learned that there'll be certain places that cannot be used in for an example something like maelstrom arena uh, any kind of solo arena you will not be able to use these companions in we also learned if you have a group of 12 players going into a trial as soon as you enter that trial, it's pretty much going to disable those companions for you uh, because that way you wouldn't be able to have, you know, 12 players with 12 companions kind of out at the same time. Now, they did say that or kind of specified that it's like I said, it's going to disable them if you're going in with a full group. But they kind of left it open to saying, you know, if you went in with six people with six companions, you actually could do that trial because that would count as 12 players in that trial. How well the AI will work within a trial, we don't know. How, how well the AI is going to work in general, fighting, tanking, any kind of combat, we'll kind of have to wait and see. But a lot of people, I think, have been worried that some of these companions are going to start replacing players. So instead of people wanting to go out and, you know, look for players to do stuff, they'll just use their companions. Well, I could see that maybe for some open world stuff. If you already can do a world boss or you're close to being able to kill a world boss by yourself, a companion you know, might help you kind of push over that hump a little bit. Uh, some people may go out and like to do solo dungeons. I solo dungeons a good bit myself if there's nobody online in my guild, no friends on, whatever the case may be. It would be pretty easy to have some help, I guess, with a tank or a healer or whatever the case would be. I'm not sure if that's technically soloing anymore if you use a companion. But you kind of get my point. I, I think what people have already been doing by themselves, if you're into solo content like questing, uh, I think companions would be, be kind of fun to have something to run around with, something to help you out. Maybe if you're a newer player, I think it'll be a big help there as well. But if you're already an in-game player that plays trials, vet dungeons, and things like that, you're probably already having groups or you know guilds that you're running with so that, I don't really see those companions really replacing anyone. I still see you running with the same groups. I think companions are going to be enjoyed by some of the community. I think some of the parts of the community, some other parts of the community may not even really, you know, care about using them that much. But I am interested to see kind of how they're going to work. I, I think it's going to be a fun experience to see them kind of in action, kind of exactly what they do, kind of how the story evolves with them. But if you're more of a, a I think, in-game style player, I think you're probably already comfortable with the group that you're running with. I don't really see people replacing players with companions, to be honest. Uh, I know some people would probably like to see these companions in solo arenas, things like Maelstrom and whatnot. And that would have been pretty helpful, I think, for some people maybe on Vet or whatever the case may be if, you had, if you're struggling running Vet. But I think overall, you're just going to see a lot of people running around with companions out in the open world. Now, hopefully these things will be disabled around tables and, and crafting all that stuff. I already made a video a while back talking about pets you know whether you're a sork or a warden whatever the case may be all these things around tables make it hard to get to certain things in certain areas if you're trying to craft hopefully these companions won't be all in the way too because as you know when you go into a zone now it's hard enough on old gen consoles at least uh, for things to load up of course i don't have a new gen console yet so i'm not quite sure how the game runs on it but of course you'll see just a lot of silhouettes there players won't load in now you're going to have double the amount of things there, even with these companions out. So I'm kind of curious to see how these are going to work out in towns too. I'm hoping they'll do something with that or they're not always just out and they'll kind of disable them automatically in certain areas. But anyway, guys, let me comment with your thoughts. Do you think these companions are going to kind of take the place of players or are you kind of like I am or you kind of have the same feeling that I do? People that are out doing solo stuff, yes, will be enjoying these companions. But people that are already doing difficult stuff really are not going to use a companion over a real player. Leave me a comment with your thoughts, and I'll catch you all next time. Peace.